Dude. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. It is freezing cold out. You guys can probably see it down below in the thumbnail. And the title probably says something around the lines of ice camping in like negative 30 or catching cook walleye something. We are out on Red Lake doing some camping. We got myself. We got Oh, Bay Rock with us in this episode today. Yeah, basically, it is just absolutely freezing outside. Like I mentioned, it's like it's like negative 20 with the wind chill right now. And then later, it's supposed to get to like negative 30, negative 35, maybe even. It's pretty gnarly out. Like, you go out there for two minutes, and it feels like your face has frostbite. Anyways, y'all, we're basically just going to be chilling in this awesome, huge, massive fish house. I'll give you guys a little tour in a second here. Really quick, too. Huge shout out to JR's Corner Access up here on Red Lake. Uh, I'm gonna leave like all of their stuff linked below their Facebook and stuff if any of y'all are ever coming up to Red Lake They got big nice houses like this go rent one of them. But anyways, yeah, we're just gonna be like hanging out fishing Camping we're gonna be cooking up some walleyes later and yeah, it should be a pretty good time Honestly since we've been out here the bite has been a little bit tough, but we've been catching some walleyes here and there So it'll be fun. But anyways, let's uh, give you a little tour of this pretty big fish house This is a six-man fish house things large especially for just me and b rock out here like there's a lot of fish a lot of rooms for activities bro anyways we'll start with my little corner here this is where i'm gonna be chilling the whole time i got my camera gear and all that stuff here i got a rattle reel set up here just basically waiting to hear this all day and then i do just have another rattle reel down right now i might put like a bobber rod or a jigging rod there later but for now we're just ripping two rattle reels we got my vexlar in this rattle reel hole and then right next to the vex we got the garmin looking at this rattle reel and then we got another rattle reel right here next to my tackle stuff over here just like all of jr's fish houses i got a little uh cooking corner got a nice little stove top we got some some chocolate cake, thanks to old mama fishing more. Then down here, we just got like, you know, the essentials. It's like munchies and propane, other cooking, camping stuff. Big ol' heater, that's where Brock's gonna be residing. I, Brock's got all of his stuff up there right now, but you just got rattle reels or you got a rod? I just got a rod, another one's over there. B-Rock is trying to catch a little bit of fish. Oh, your other rattle reel's over here. Yeah, they can see it on camera. Okay, this house has like one, two, three, four. Is there a hole here? No. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this house has ten holes. But here in Minnesota, a lot of y'all been curious about this, by the way, in past videos, but here in Minnesota, you can only have two lines per person. But anyways, we do have two more bunks right here if needed, but they're not needed, so we're just gonna have those up and yeah. Window here. It is, I'm talking gnarly out. Like, 50 mile an hour winds and it is cold. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm about to uh, get nice and comfy, take off my jacket and uh, hopefully catch some walleyes. And we actually already have a few walleyes. I'll show you really quick. Like I mentioned, we've already been out here, so we got some walleyes on tap just in case we don't happen to catch a bunch or just catch enough to eat. So we definitely have enough to eat tonight. But yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna get all comfy. Already got the cracks on. Let's maybe catch some fish, and we're going to cook some fish later. We're going to just reel up that rattle reel. Going to go with the, we're going to switch up to a rod. Rattle reel went down. Got him. Doesn't feel big. Definitely a walleye, though. Dude, this little guy. Little baby walleye. Hey. It's a walleye. Real quick. Show bang. Catch and release on this guy. Good start to the day though. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. What was that? Double fathead? Double shiner? Shiner? Fathead? Single fathead maybe? Single fathead? I have not a clue. Alright. Let's get this thing rebaited. Like I said, I just reeled up that rail reel. I'm getting bored already. I'm gonna start to jig and there's some minnow on a jig head. It's going single. No, do you know what that one was? That was the smallest one I could find in there. Minnow? Yep, smallest fat head I could find. Well, we're just gonna back hook a yep. fat head, just like that. And no fun. It's about prime time. Prime time. Yeah. Sun's just going down. Stuff should really start happening here. Those drifts are wild. Like, snow is just flying. Oh, dude, it's flying up six, seven feet up there some places. 
I'm curious to see how we're gonna get out of here. A lot of we shoveling. Have to get out. Yeah, like even this one out here. It's almost waist high. Like I mentioned, y'all, just got myself a rod all rigged up. Just got a little jig head on there with a fat head. And we got the Vexlar down here. And we got the old panty optics down here. If absolutely any fish are swimming down there, we're going to be able to freaking see. Anyways, y'all, before I forget, I want to mention that we got some new-ish Fish and More merch. We bring back the Camp Murder merch because a lot of y'all been asking. And honestly, it's like, it's probably like my favorite merch I've came out with. I know I say that a lot, but I I feel like I wear this one like the absolute most. I'm always wearing the Camp Murder. So yeah, go check it out. We got more colors than just white. We got like ton of colors so go check it out link in description or teespring.com slash fish and more and let's get back to the video next scene is hopefully going to be us catching a whale eye Really quick, y'all. I want to uh, explain the the graphs a little bit. Let me dim this just a tad. I want to explain this in this graph because I've been reading a lot of comments lately, and you guys don't even like know what you're looking at when we try to film this. So as you can see, hopefully, and it's kind of flashy, but this mark right here. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm moving it right here. That's obviously my jig, and then. So down here, let me fix this again, holy buckets. So down here, this big mark, that's the bottom of the, that's like the bottom. There's not a fish on here now, but when a fish is on the screen, it looks like pretty much, maybe I'll try to show you later, but it pretty much looks identical to this mark, just maybe a little bit bigger, maybe even a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's pretty much how this, how this works. This is the jig, this is the bottom. Usually the fish come from the bottom and come smack it. And then this one over here, this one's a little bit easier to film. Brock, you wanna come help me out over here real quick? So earlier when I said this graph could see this hole and this hole, what I meant by that, was so this mark right here here brock jig that real quick as you can see let me zoom in on it it's going up that's 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 that bait and then this one over here i'm gonna jig this one up a little bit jigging it up that's that bait here so on this one just like the other graph it basically looks exactly like these marks just like a blob usually like double the size then once again just like the other graph this whole thing right here is bottom once a fish comes or something i'll pull this out again and i'll try to show you i don't know if i'll be fast enough to show you on that but i can for sure show you on that one come on come on keep your eye right here this is a fish on bottom let's see if we can get it to come up a little bit okay it's going to the left rattle reel this looks like a good mark. Yeah. Wanna come jig this a little bit once? Maybe a little pop? Yeah, it's maybe a little pop. It's just sitting there. It's getting closer. It's bigger. Or it's getting bigger. Give that jig just a little pop. See if it fires him up. It's like swimming right to him, too. Oh. And he swam away. Yeah, it's, that's basically what the fish been doing all day, but uh, maybe I'll try again, see if we can get one a little bit more suspended, like on the bait and moving a little bit faster. Yeah? Oh, 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 oh. is that I another dinker? Came off. Was that another dinker, though? Yeah. Like another dinker? Tiny. What's up with the dinkers? I don't know. Weird, eh? Not about it. Not about it. I'm still... <laughs> sitting here by the way waiting to see a fish on the graph to show you guys but it's just you know we're just not marking <laughs> there's just nothing to show you i'm getting hungry though eat soon soonish yeah soonish for sure it's like five maybe like seven Damn well i pretty much gave up on the graph cam but you guys you guys pretty much get the gist you guys seen a fish and whatnot but check this out just got this on my weather phone. Wind chill advisory. Very cold and chills. Wind chills as low as 40 below, Brock. 
Yeah. Remains in effect until noon tomorrow, Saturday. Lake of the Woods, North Beltrami, North Clearwater. We're about, what are we, 45 minutes from Lake of the Woods? Yeah. That's intense, dude. Bella, Bella Terry County or whatever is the county we're in, I think. Oh, that's the county we're that's in? Like Midgey to like here and then it switches the Lake of the Woods, whatever that county is, I think. Oh, uh, okay. That's pretty insane. That might be like top three, probably coldest weather I've like been out fishing. <laughs> that's that's pretty gnarly. And Brock's just over here with shorts on. Dude, let me tell you though, that heater goes out. Oh. <laughs> let's let's just go ahead, knock on wood. That ain't gonna happen. We in JR's houses, they got they got top of line stuff. And if it does happen to happen, we have a buddy heater right here. But that's not gonna happen. Once again though. Holy crap, negative 40? <sighs> I'm scared to go pee later. That's gonna suck. Dude, it's really quick. Look at the frost buildup on this door right now. That's thick stuff. That's insane. Let me just stick this out here for a second. My hand's dead. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> Frozen hand. I wish we could film it. Okay, he's got it. He dropped it. Active, huh? Active. Dude, that thing smoked me. The first time. Dude, I hammered that thing. Did you get that? The I, first hook set? I think so. I got it on the go. No, I didn't. <laughs> GoPro's not on. Dude, I had that thing tacoed. Like this. I sent it. Check the bait. Oh. He hit it baitless twice. Unless it just came off that last one. Damn. Damn, dude. That was a better fish. That wasn't no cigar. That was a 16, 17, 20 incher. Little update on the night, partners. We got the old fish cleaning station set up. A garbage setup. You got the old electric freaking flare. It is currently like 6 30. Me and Brock are hungry. We're gonna flay up some of these walleyes real quick and yeah, get them in the breeze. Let's start with this little guy. Right here. Just like all the catch and cook videos, we're not gonna go too in depth on how to clean these or even show it that close because of these because of like YouTube reasons. So yeah, we're just gonna clean these up really quick. Stay tuned. Woo! Scared my dog. Get that pan on there. Grab this partially frozen vegetable oil. Mm. Said it once, I'll say it again. Absolutely hate using vegetable oil. Wish we had some peanut oil or something of that nature. All right, well that's heating up. Grab myself a baggie. And this here's just some Cajun uh, fish batter. It's gonna melt right in here. And we got those fish filleted. We got them cleaned. I went ahead, got them all chunked up into perfect little pieces. I'm just gonna take a big old handful. Ram it in this baggie. Shake, 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 shake. Freaking grease, just about hot. About to get the fish on. And we might have ourselves another fish. Oh, it feels like a good one. It wouldn't hurt. I mean, you think we do? We house it usually every time. It'll, it'll get eaten. All right, 
right, YouTube, don't don't monet, don't demonetize me. We're gonna eat this guy. From the lake to the shake, baby. Should probably slit his throat first, but it doesn't even matter. Whatever. I think one more would be a perfect meal for both of us. Alright, well, it's going as fresh as it gets right there. Literally, you got it. Cut it up. Now we're gonna eat it. <laughs> That's funny. Dude, this thing was moving. Whoa. Get those bones out. Uh, yeah, clean those really quick. Here, yeah, let me see that. Okay. I'm pretty sure this grease is ready. Let me wash my hand quick. Oh yeah. Maybe a little higher. Second batch is cooking. Half of them are about done. First batch just came off. Gonna go ahead and try a cheek for the for the for the tester. See how we did here. Mm. Bomb. Is that a cheek? Mm -hmm. Try it. See if the texture's right. Cheek. Could have been. Could have been. I don't know if it was bomb. It is. It's good. It's good. Yeah, All right, stay tuned, y'all. This will all be done in about 10 minutes here. That's done. That's done. Fish is done. Last batch is done. Time to freaking mouth. Ooh, wings. Ooh, look at that guy. Yeah, get these wings out. I gotta sit there another second. These two. Dude, that's a lot of fish. Yeah. I'm pretty confident we're gonna eat it. Oh. Yeah, I haven't eaten nothing today. Oh, we had breakfast. Oh. I almost afraid. Yeah. I thought you'd be with her. I'm gonna use this. I've been eating fish so much, so I've been trying to freaking just find different sauces and whatnot to try with it. Last time we had barbecue. This time we got Hidden Valley Ranch Secret Sauce. Looks like cool and tangy. Looks looks like it could be pretty good. Let's find out. Rock. All right, let's grab ourselves a piece of fish. Get a pretty good amount of that on there. Going in. I need another bite of it. Definitely not the best thing I've ever had. It's not the worst sauce I've ever had. I can't think of what it tastes like. There it is. You try it yet? Yeah. It kind of tastes like, um, just like the taco seasoning pack. That yeah. You no. get to season your hamburger with. Okay, yeah. We're on the right page. It kind of tastes like, like a Taco Bell cheese. Hot like cheese or... Cheese and yeah. mild sauce mixed. Something. It's kind of weird. It is. It, yeah, it's good though. It's better than eating fish with just nothing, I think. A little goes a long way. Yeah, a little. Huh, a little goes a long way. You don't need to put a whole bunch on it. It's like. It's almost like Taco Bell, Taco Bell cheese and Taco Bell mild sauce with maybe a little bit of. Like a burger, like Burger King. Almost tastes like Burger King smells. <laughs> well, stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna sit here, jig this rod, and just, I'm talking, absolutely destroy this fish. 
here really quick. Let's try out a try out a little walleye wing. Mm -hmm. Whoa. The walleye wings are buffing tonight. Oh. Yeah, I still can't quite figure it out, but Taco Bell sunflower seeds. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Kinda? Taco Bell sunflower seeds. Looks like it's not shitty. No, it's just kind of weird. It's not the best. It's not what I was expecting at all. Well. Dang. Pounded. That's all that's left. So full. Bomb! About to go into a coma though. Trying to freaking rip some tea. Yeah? Whenever you're ready. Alright. Stay tuned, y'all. Gonna clean up and all that and make some tea. Relax. Hopefully, catch another walleye. There's one on here, and there's one coming to here. Or is that this one? This one's about to go down. I don't know. There's some fish down there right now. Going for some tea, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm doing three peach and one ginger lemon. Yeah. It's probably gonna be pretty buzzing. All right, well, five minutes. We'll be ripping tea. I can see the comments now. No beer? No beer? Tea is just about done. I think for max comfortability for this tea and just this whole process in general, I think it's time to throw on the old lucky, the old lucky plaid jammies. Now that's more like it. Rock's got shorts and I got jammies and it's a negative 40 out. <laughs> that's funny. Living my best life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right yeah. Now. It's on there. You're showing... Uh, oh. What? I thought that just bobbed super hard. You're showing what a fish looks like. Yeah. That's a fish. See that fish? Okay. I might have grabbed it. No, Bob or still up. No, I think Dang. it just disappeared. Where's the bait? I don't know. Did that disappeared too? <laughs> That's super weird, eh? Tea's boiling. Tea's boiling? Tea's done. Dude, and let me tell you, folks at home. This smell, <laughs> that's a good mix. We did what, three peaches, one lemon ginger. It smells like the best thing ever. Give it one last little tea bag action here. Should be good. Hopefully this don't melt the cup. Here, here's a little trick for you guys back at home. Take some cold water. No, it definitely won't melt it. Bussin', but really hot. Ow! Right. Tea's done. Alright, I might give it a couple more minutes. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I feel like the cups are just gonna like dissolve. Dude, that looks like beer. Is it? Yeah, I heard something pissed at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like piss. It's a hot toddy. I think I'm about to reel this up, too. Pretty pretty over jigging because I'm not catching nothing on it. So I think I'm going to put the rattle reel down. Just listen for a bite and hang out. Round two. Yeah, I'll add another little bit of water. So pretty hot. Little update, y'all. I accidentally messed around and 
laid down after eating all that fish and three cups of tea. I'm freaking exhausted. I actually just like fell asleep for like five minutes ago. <laughs> or wait, I accidentally fell asleep like five minutes ago for like five minutes. But anyways, I'm done for. But if I can turn off the lights, it's only like 11 o'clock, but I think I might hit the hay unless I randomly hear that. Hey, if you catch one too in the middle of the night, film it. Party. Stay tuned, y'all. Nighty night. Oh, it's like one thirty in the morning, I think. Mer's over there sleeping. I was just looking over here and this thing charged up to it. Perfectly hooking the snow. We're not keeping it anymore, so get him on out, throw him right back. Got a rattle really. Are you gonna hold it? Or are you gonna catch it? Oh, I'll get it, boy. Get it? Good morning, fam. We got ourselves a rattle reel. I'm gonna catch it like this. Maybe. Yup. It's just a little. Whoa, he took out a lot of line. Catching last night? No. Really? That was a first rattle reel. Shut up. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, that's bright. Bye guys. <laughs> yeah? yeah I am still in bed. It's been about twenty minutes since that last fish. Oh, yeah! Yes! Is your hair in the sunlight right now? Bald. It looks good. <laughs> See, why do you always sell yourself short? It goes right to the bald. <laughs> no, it looks cool, not bald. Yeah, boy. That's one of those. <laughs> well, we all... I think on uh, that note, I think we might end this video here. We got to get up about five minutes here, pack up this whole fish house, and get out of here and head home for Christmas. By the time y'all are watching this, it's probably like a week after Christmas, but I hope y'all had a lit Christmas. And uh, yeah, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you could, like it, share it, smash that subscribe button, drop a comment down below just to help us get in that algorithm. New Fish More merch. Go check that out, and uh, yeah, one more time, if any of y'all are heading up to Red Lake, go through JR's Corner. I will leave a link down below in my description. They also have a Facebook page you guys should go like, and uh, I, think that, uh, I think that should do her. Love y'all. Peace out.